I made this video just kind of for fun and for some practice. It's intended to get some concepts a little more cemented in our heads. So what I want to start with is a scenario of a patient that comes in and this patient has K readings of 43 and 4475 at 90 and refractometry shows us minus 4 minus 175 at 180. The very first thing I want to do is transpose that um, minus cylinder prescription into plus cylinder. So I have it in both minus and plus. And again, the purpose of this video is to kind of answer some questions. Like if you look at this stuff, what does it mean? What does it tell you? Because it should tell you all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's start with the K readings. Okay, let's start with the K readings. What do they tell us? Well, they tell us that there is a power of 4475 at 90 and 43 at 180. And 4475 is steeper because it's a higher number. That's a steeper curvature. So what um, shape is this eye compared to a football, punting or passing? It's going to be a passing otherwise known as with the rule astigmatism. So we should be able to just look at the K readings and know right off the bat that this is going to be a with the rule astigmatism because the steeper K reading is at 90. Now, which way is the cylindrical lens going to be oriented for this patient's with the rule astigmatism? We really don't need to do power crosses to determine that. At this point, we should be able to just look at it and know, but we're going to do power crosses anyways. So we'll fill in a spherical cross first with our sphere power, minus 575. And then for our cylinder, we know that the axis is going to be at 90, and that's not going to have any power. And 90 degrees away will be 180, and that will have our cylinder power of plus 175. So we are going to need a lens with a cylinder that is sitting on the counter. Um, the flat side is at 90 degrees. So look what happens when I put this cylinder over top of the patient's eye. The steep part of the patient's cornea is at 90 degrees, and the steep part of the lens, the cylindrical part of the lens, is at 180. So the steep balances the steep. And then the cylinder has a flat side at 90, and the patient's eye is flatter at 180. See? Now, of course, this is just the cylinder part of the lens. This isn't the complete lens because we also have the sphere part that's going to go right on top. So let's take a look at what the actual completed lens power is going to look like. The finished power cross tells me that this patient's lens is going to have a power of minus 575 at 90 degrees and it's going to have a power of minus 4 at 180 degrees. And I noticed something right off the bat, that this power cross tells me that this patient has compound myopic astigmatism. And how do I know that? By the minus signs in front of both the powers on my power cross. So if the corrective lens for this patient were an eyeglass lens, the optician would get it as a round lens and would cut it out um, to fit whatever shape the patient's eyeglasses were. But regardless of the shape, don't forget that the steeper curve is at the 180. Of course, if we forget, we could always just do a power cross. And remember, a myopic eye has an excess of converging power, and a hyperopic eye doesn't have enough to focus on the retina, or a hyperopic eye has too much diverging power, and a myopic eye doesn't have enough diverging power. So in order to correct myopia, we have to subtract converging power. This is done with a minus lens. And in order to correct hyperopia, we have to add converging power. This is done with a plus lens.
Okay, recap. A myopic eye has too much dioptric power. A highly myopic eye has way too much power. Minus lenses lessen the converging power. That's why they're negative. Minus lenses decrease the power of the eye. Okay, looking back at our lens and the two meridians on our lens, which one has the higher radius of curvature? In other words, which one has the steeper curve? Answer, the one with the higher plus power. Okay, here's something. Usually when I draw a cylinder, when we're talking about spherocylindrical lenses and I'm drawing a cylinder, I draw it in plus cylinder. I, it looks like this. But lenses are actually ground, they're actually made in negative cylinder. And a pictorial representation of a negative cylinder might look something a little more like this. Um, one of the things that made me think of this is that I saw a question today in a test review, a COT test uh, review manual, something to this effect. But um, I wanted to point out that in minus cylinder, the sphere power corrects the flatter of the two meridians, and the combined sphere and cylinder correct the steeper curve. Now that's a little confusing, but I'm going to draw it out. So we're going to start out with drawing power crosses of our same prescription written in two different formats, in the positive cylinder and in the negative cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to start out with our two formats for the same prescription. I'm going to write the positive cylinder on the top and the negative cylinder is going to go on the bottom. And then we'll fill in our sphere power, our cross for the sphere. Uh, on top we have a minus 575 sphere. And on the bottom, we have a minus four sphere. Then if we look at our top prescription, our axis is at 90, which means that's the one that will have no power. And our power meridian is at 180, and that will have our um, cylinder power of plus 175. On the bottom, however, we have an axis of 180, and that's the one that will have no power. So our 90 degree uh, meridian will have the minus 175. Now when we combine these and input one on top of the other, sphere and cylinder combined, we come out with the same power cross. And like I think I said earlier, um, the power cross bridges the gap between positive cylinder and negative cylinder because it's always the same, same for positive and same for negative. It's the actual power on the lens. Okay, so I showed you this in power cross. Now we're going to draw some pictures of it and maybe kind of drill it in now, a little bit Now while you're better. watching this, remember our eye that we're correcting, that this prescription is designed to correct. It is with the rule of astigmatism or passing football. So regardless of how this prescription is written, plus cylinder or minus cylinder, or laid out as far as an example drawn out, top or bottom, in both of these, the steeper curve is at the 180. They're actually both the same.